the official year of sport in Denmark. And what a year! It's a year where Denmark hosts more than 50 international sport events. It's a year where Denmark and Danish sport attract more international attention than ever before. It's a year where even President Obama came to visit because of sports. Yet, something has been missing. The perspective of active cities. Active cities is not just about football and fitness. It's all about aspects that can create an active environment in our cities. Active cities involve, in my opinion, three very important aspects. <coughs> Cross-sector collaboration, international perspective, sport for all perspective. And those three aspects are important topics of exactly this conference. Let me uh, touch briefly upon each of these three aspects. A municipality cannot make an active city alone. A sport organization cannot provide the framework for an active city alone. Health experts will not be able to activate citizens alone. <coughs> By bringing together representatives of municipalities, the private sector and civil society organizations, the potential of successful cross-sector cooperation is demonstrated. We need to work together to release the potential of active cities. The second aspect of this Congress is the international perspective. Active cities are not created in a bubble. They are developed by combining <coughs> international inspiration with each city's own strength. And it is evident why cities want to be active cities. Look at the benefits to health, Look at the benefits to social capital and social inclusion. Look at the benefit to youth involvement. The potential for cities to create a unique profile as active, healthy cities is enormous. It will help the cities attract investment and skillful labor, and it will help the citizens feel proud about their city. This is international branding with an edge. If an active city wants to release its full potential, it should not only be active, it should also be known to be active. The third aspect I see under the Congress is the sport for all perspective. As Minister for Sport, I work to create um, supporting structures for the sport sector. Denmark has a long <coughs> sport for all tradition. The voluntary based sport sector has contributed to the social development and grassroots democracy for decades, and the sport associations are an important part of our culture. The Danish government recently established a Sport for All Commission. The Sport for All Commission was indeed a cross-sector cooperation, including stakeholders from all parts of the sector of sport and physical activity, as well as no less than seven ministries. The Sport for All Commission analyzed how to improve the Danes participation in physical activity. The results for, of the Sport for All Commission include 42 recommendations on how to motivate and provide access to physical activity. This summer I launched a call for Danish municipalities to become Sport for All cities. More than one third of the 98 municipalities has applied to be a Sport for All city. And this is telling me that local government really is eager to release the full potential of the Sport for All movement. I'm very delighted that the ISCA took the initiative for this conference and I'm also happy to see so many nationalities gathered here today. You are the people that will make a difference for tomorrow's active cities and I hope you will all benefit from the Congress and its perspectives. Thank you very much.